Oak Street Orchard, and I'm in the garden indefinitely. Uh, haven't done an update in a while. I still have to do this side of the orchard. Uh, because remember my, <clears throat> excuse me, remember my last video was a garden tour. And I did this whole side over here. I did this whole side. I haven't got to this side yet. Um, this is not going to be that video. But I promise not to leave people hanging. I promise not to leave you hanging like my sunflowers. <laughs> I grew these from seed. I'm not going to leave you hanging like these sunflowers. <laughs> but we got a lot of good stuff going on in the orchard. We got plenty of tomatoes that are flowering. I'm talking tomatoes everywhere. I grew a lot of these from seed. And then I bought some varieties that I thought would be cool varieties. But these I, I grew from seed. Um, I bought this. This is Better Boy Tomato. He's gotten so long. Come home from work and he's on the ground. We got our Swiss chard looking good. Sorry about the mess. It's been it's been hectic in the garden so far. I don't have a lot of time. But as long as the plants grow, they don't care about the mess. So, um, Sunbelt grapevine over there looking good. Look at those leaves. Look at those leaves. Then we got our corn in a pot here. Starting to flower. I grew this corn from seed. I grew this corn from seed as well. And this container. I took these out. The bigger ones, I took them out of this pot. Put them in this pot. Two weeks later. <clears throat> excuse me. Two weeks later. Pretty much every one of them start to flower. Pretty much. We got this one over here starting to flower. He hasn't started yet. Him right here. But they pretty much don't start to flower. And then we got some over here. I accidentally planted with my uh, melons. Honeydew. Cantaloupe and watermelon. Different varieties of three. Um, they're looking chlor chlorotic. They're hungry because they're still in the seed seed pots. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got the red supreme guava. We're getting those branches stronger. Hopefully we get some fruit. This area actually gets shaded. So I'm going to move this guava so it can get some more sunlight. See what happens. My carry mango has started to flower again. Look at these panicles. And I've already done videos on the carry mango. See these old flowers? But then we got new mangoes. Focus. See it? That's a mango. Don't know how healthy he is because I... This is a greener mango right here. Not too much, but it's... Well, not too much. So we got a mango right there. And then the wind blew over my Matsumoto waste Fuyu persimmon and broke off a panicle right here. And this panicle also had a mango on it. So that's a loss. That's a loss. But that's not going to do anything but generate maybe more flowers. If not, it's going to make for more branches from here. And that's always good. But we already have more flowers. See, I lost the panicle and I gained like seven more. So, we're good. We are good. And then there's some mangoes on the back side of the tree. This is Kerry Mango. Doing excellent. Very doing excellent. Um,. This Florida gold peach, trying to ripen those fruit, trying to stay moist and ripen those fruit.
I'm still the tree holding good. Sun home nectarine held three fruit, dropped them all. But not in the most ideal condition. This part is actually big enough for this tree at this point, but not this one. Sun home nectarines. Um, and then we got some we got some more peppers started by accident. I started these peppers, so now I got to let them grow. And we have a lot of peppers. We got banana peppers starting. Look at that there. We got bananas. And I actually pruned a banana, um, banana pepper just like this one in the middle. The first one come out was in the middle. And I took it and I pulled it off. And now I got growth coming. So that signified to the pepper, it's time to branch out so we can make more peppers. Then we got some peppers here and we got some more branching out because my daughter broke this. Now we got some more growth coming right there. So that's good. She might've done me a favor. And I'm gonna cut this one short. Oak Street Orchard. We got, it appears we have a uh, cantaloupe flower so that's always good i'm gonna try to try to grow those vertically oak street orchard 